October the 6th, 2021. Guys, I'm sure you can hear the roar of this volcano in the background as I'm recording this. This is live as of 5.30 p.m. tonight, October the 6th, Central Time. And uh, the most powerful venting, some of the most powerful I've ever seen continuous, is in the very top center of the screen. Now, in the bottom, you, it's basically basically become a, a lava lake with explosions that will throw this lava over those uh, walls. But at the top, this mountain is growing, guys. And if you look in the right top, this picture in a picture, that was yesterday. Now, what is happening is the earthquake intensity has gone down yesterday and today. But the ones that are registering that were like at 5 kilometers to 10 kilometers and some at 3 are now down around 30 to 35 kilometers. So are we seeing something much deeper start to well up? It's hard to tell. And this is kind of new. You've got a lot of technology that's involved in watching this volcano and the measurements that are coming out. But uh, this is still powerful. Look, j right now as we're talking, you just saw an explosion in that center or bottom lava lake that's cascading over the right side of that flank. But now it's dark now, but at the top, where that it looks like a gas blow off, that side, that section of the mountain has become very large. And we hope that it stabilizes because if it cracks or a wall cracks in the center, um, in the cone between the top and the middle lava lake, then you're going to have a lot more problems coming down. The information coming out is that. Uh, Last night was not as bad as the night before, but guys, we were seeing images from uh, drones and other uh, camera angles that were showing us very intense. But guys, just look at the top. If that's not intense, I don't know what is. Now, I don't want to keep this video long just simply because I think the intensity is building, but what does concern me is that now the earthquakes are registering much deeper again 30 to 35 kilometers deep that's telling you that there's even though they're saying that the quakes are less today and yesterday we see a pretty good intensity from this volcano still so if you've got a lot of li uh, lava building up that deep then this thing is going to uh, and continue to have these explosions these lava bombs and this lava lake and all the lava going down to the ocean and it's interesting to look back in history at where the lava has formed through here because technically they say these volcanoes are moving from north to south and you can see along the southern edge of La Palma many craters but technically that's not true because if you go back and look at the different years going back into the 16 1700s that has moved to the south and then the cones have moved back north so it's kind of an active region right in that area and if we take a look at this in the red guys we have our current eruption and it's a couple of different lava streams but this is basically where it's going into now in 1949 which they say started the crack that a lot of people are concerned about uh, you had this area and if you look past um, Say, for instance, Bushcraft Bear, he is to the left of this image up on the hill, and he's filming down, and he has showed images of where here at La Bombilla, Puerto de Niles, there is a lighthouse out here on this point from the 1949 eruption. All right, so from 1949 to 2021, this is actually a northward movement because the island you're looking at the west side to the left this is the north to the right is the uh, south side but then in uh, 1585 was the first one that's recorded in the green very large in 1712 that did move south but now we're seeing some changes does that have to do with the magnetic pole shift not the physical pole shift where the earth flips but the magnetic pole shift to where um and, and guys they have seen this in magma for uh, magma formations in other words they could they will do a magnetic reading on the lava during a volcano an old volcano and they can tell which way 
the magnetic lines of the earth were pointing during that volcano because it's trapped inside that lava as it's cooled and so they've seen it go both ways the magnetic poles have flipped many times but are we seeing like from 1585 to 1712 we've got a northerly flow then starting in 1949 and then in 1971 back to a, a, a north going back to the north so I don't know I think that may be what we're looking at and indicating here but if guys if you'll go to Google or it's a very enlightening um, chance to see this island go there and look and you'll see it from 1949 1585 1712 all of these areas all the way up to the new one are massive banana plantations greenhouses they're growing there uh, so they're taking advantage of what the Lord gives them when or the nature gives them because the earth is ever-changing you're looking at evolution uh, or evolution that began when the earth began millions and millions of years ago but just to me it looks like we are now moving more to the north and it could indicate because You've got uh, metal in lava. You've got rocks and other things like that, but different types of metal, and that's what's trapped when they do these uh, magnetic signatures showing which way it was the Earth's north and south was during these events. And I think that's what we're seeing. So it's, it's kind of neat to take the technology that we have and look at history and see where this movement is. Now, does that mean that uh, as we, again, look at the red, 2021 movement here that the next one will be closer to the main volcano to the left the very large one that it is basically was the formation of the island and since then the island is formed in these lower areas because of these explosions but I would say that we're now in a northward uh, movement if you look at the National Geographic survey or the Spanish uh, meteorological and geographic information they still say that everything's moving to the south, but I think we've seen a change, and I think that's what we're looking at now. Guys, uh, again, we're watching it. You watch it. Let's see what happens on those very deep earthquakes. It's a heads up. Be safe. <coughs>